Birini is no longer is a young mother who needs a lot of water to wash her baby and herself twice a day. So she has to make several fires a day using firewood or charcoal, a method she prefers over biogas. Mona ela no yahudo gaza dio. E no dure ya. E no dure de bu tu mi ando. Mi ando si ando ji fi no wa yin din. Wona da ma sinu vi. Ando si ando ji zun ama ando gbada ni Yesu na le wo. Po ni le po. E no yawo po ni. E ni di wa ya san ton. Wa mi kan le do. Wo sun ji bo mi da je na do sacro ni gbe tegbe o. E no fe o. E wa sun bo mi do bi je ma san e lo. Nuranga lives on a small farm with her husband. She is lucky to have enough trees on the property to make as many fires as she wants, and uses the same type of tree that is used to make charcoal. The business of this charcoal seller would no longer exist without customers like her. This is our day. Yeah, I mean, this is our day. I'm going to start this sack and sack for the people. This sack, this sack. Yeah, for the people. Fifty kilometers away from Cotonou in this village, an eco-friendly initiative is developing. The Swiss Foundation has built a new kind of power plant. It buys or barters household waste for biogas. Ellis Kordjo is here to exchange her rubbish. First, her rubbish is weighed. For 12 kg of A, she is entitled to a 4 kg biogas bag. Her biogas bag is then loaded and the filled bag has straps so Kodjo can carry her biogas like a backpack. This initiative is supported by the Foundation Ribbon. Its aim is to encourage a circular economy and to show the population that waste is a resource. We have the possibility to trocate the déchets against the biogas, against the compost, against the eau potable, and against the poisson, and also against the produits maraîchers. So the Foundation Ribbon valorizes the déchets organic in the commune of Tofo. Désormais, ces communautés n'iront plus détruire les arbres qu'ils ont chez eux ou bien dans les, dans les airs classés, les, les forêts et classés. Mais désormais, c'est qu'ils ont la possibilité de pouvoir contribuer de par leurs activités à produire du gaz que eux mêmes vont consommer sur place. Since the opening of the center, waste has become a valued commodity. When people steal household waste in Tofu, they are summoned to the police station. Bartering waste for biogas is slowly changing attitudes and the transition to low-cost renewable energy is becoming a reality.